Hi, my name is Blake Wheeler. I'm with Boulevard Home Service and Repair. Today we're going to talk about dishwashers, four different things that will affect the performance of your dishwasher, how well it dries, how well it washes, to identify if you have hard water buildup or if you have etched dishes or especially glassware. We've done a couple of videos on dishwashers before. Uh, this one, uh, we're gonna go a little bit more deeper into it and explain to you the exact reasons why your dishwasher is not uh, working properly or not cleaning properly. The biggest thing with dishwashers is the dishwashers themselves don't use much water compared to the older ones. The older dishwashers, something that's 15 years old or older, they use quite a bit of water for washing. Uh, this dishwasher here, or the newer ones, for a normal wash, they use approximately about six to eight gallons of water for the complete wash load. The older ones used to use upwards between 12 and 16 gallons of water, which was a lot more water. So with these water savers, which all these are, it's very important that certain things uh, are taken care of so they do pressurize and wash properly. When your food is on your dishes and it's being sprayed off of your dishes, what happens is it comes down to your filter down here. And I've already removed this, and this is the bottom of your dishwasher. Now this is, you have two different filters here. You have this coarser filter here. You have this real fine mesh filter underneath it. Now what happens is the water comes down and the food comes down and hits this upper filter here. And then the water is pulled through here and then repressurized and sent back up to your wash arms to continue washing your dishes. Now, as the food sits here, the, the bottom wash arm here, it has jets on it that pushes that food down into the middle of this filter here, and it, it traps that all the food and stuff inside the filter here. Now, with it being trapped in here, it then pre pulls that water through these holes in this filter and then repressurizes it and sends it up to your wash arms. Now, when it drains out, it drains from the center of this and pulls all that food and stuff that is inside of this out the drain and into your garbage disposal or directly into your piping under your sink, whatever way it is designed. This filter here gets clogged quite often and it's not from the outside in, it's from the inside out. So if this filter in here from all the food and the debris and even hard water uh, will clog up this filter and when it clogs this filter up, the dishwasher cannot pressurize properly because it doesn't have the water to do it. So it's very important that at least once a month, you take this filter out right here, take it out, uh, go over to your sink, wash the filter out, take and scrub on the inside of this, make sure this filter is nice and clean, and then put it back in. Without doing this, you're definitely gonna affect how well the dishwasher washes and the washability of the unit itself. And another thing that will affect uh, the washability with these filters is if the filter is actually put back in place properly or not. It does have a lock sign on this, or most of them have a lock on them, or arrows or something to indicate that this is locked. So when you put this back in, you have to put it in, turn it till it locks, pull up on it, make sure that it doesn't come back up. If not, what will happen is this, this whole filter assembly, once water gets in there, will float. And once it floats, all of that food and debris that's coming off your dishes is going underneath the filter here. That food is then being pulled right into the wash system and then being sprayed back up onto your dishes. So when you have that happen, you'll have food particles on your dishes. You'll also have, when you look in your wash arms themselves, where the holes are, you'll find uh, pieces of food and debris in those wash arms. And then you have to clear them out with a toothpick or something of that variety to get them cleared out. But generally that is caused because this is not locked into place. So you, when you put this back into place, you always wanna make sure that it does go back into place and, and it is turned, and so it does lock, and when you pull up on it like that, it does not come up. That way, you're gonna avoid that problem from happening and have that excess food being sprayed back up on your dishes. Also, we'll have uh, washability issues where people complain about every so often or every now and then, their dishes don't come out as clean as they did the previous load. Well, a lot of that can be attributed to uh, the way that the dishwasher is loaded or if something had actually flipped over within the wash cycle. So take for example, if we have a bowl that we put down in it and then it gets flipped over during the wash cycle. Well, the new dishwashers are designed that they fill up with just enough water that it covers the wash plate here and that's where the screen is. It covers the wash plate with water and then it can have enough water up in the air that it's not sucking for air and not being able to pressurize the water properly. Well, if one of those bowls get flipped over, well, that bowl is then capturing a lot of that water that's in the dishwasher, especially if it's in the main wash, which is a very long wash cycle. So that water is then collecting in that bowl, so that's making the whole water in the whole unit go down. 
so the dishwasher cannot pressurize properly and it will affect how well it does wash. So it's a good idea to make sure your bowls are always turned down, make sure if they're really light, if something is can be weighted next to it to hold it down, uh, or just sometimes it just happens. Well, if it does happen, you're wondering why it doesn't clean, that's probably your biggest reason why. All right, now we're gonna cover hard water and dishwashers. Now, hard water is extremely hard in dishwashers like it is most of your appliances, like your water heaters, your faucets, your filters on your faucets. It is very detrimental to your dishwasher. So one thing with dishwashers, if you do have a hard water area, we recommend you use a dishwasher cleaner at least you know once a month to help keep the hard water down. The biggest problem is, and I can't tell you the exact time frame, but I wanna say seven or eight years ago, phosphates were removed from the soaps for your dishwashers. Now phosphates are what combated hard water and hard water buildup. Well, they've been removed from the soaps. So because of that, you don't have much in the soap to help combat the hard water within the dishwasher. So it's very important to run a cleaner through this every now and then, at least once a month, to keep the hard water buildup down because of that hard water will build up inside your wash arms, inside the wash tube, inside the filters itself I showed you earlier, you'll have hard water building up inside of those. Well, you can scrub your filters and you can get all the stuff out of your filters, but it doesn't get rid of it in the wash motor itself and in the piping inside the dishwasher. So there's a product that I personally recommend, it's called Lemmy Shine Dishwasher Cleaner. It's a cleaner that goes in there, it's a citric acid, follow directions on the box, it goes through and cleans your dishwasher out really well and does a great job of cleaning it. Also, uh, I would recommend a particular soap, uh, Cascade Platinum. I've found from a lot of feedback from our guests and from use itself that it does uh, help keep the hard water at bay in between cleanings and it does a really great job and that's in the gel pack but it's called the Cascade Platinum. It does a fantastic job. People have been uh, really thrilled with that product along with the Lemmy Shine, keeping the dishwasher and the hard water down. The biggest issue people usually complain about the hard water buildups on the glassware first and foremost. But sometimes it's actually not hard water that's causing your glasses to turn white. Sometimes it is because they are etched. Now etching comes from usually using too much soap and having your dishes washed fairly clean. So there's nothing in the machine for the food to break down with as far as the soap being put into it. Because the soap is designed to go in the machine to break down the food, to stick to the food and go down the drain with it. Well, if you rinse your dishes off perfectly clean, there's nothing for this soap to attack. So it starts attacking your glassware. And the easiest way to tell if it's hard water deposits or if it's actually etched is to take that glass, put some vinegar in it, make sure you clean it really good with vinegar and dry it off. And once you dry it off, if it becomes white again, it is etched, which means there's nothing you can do with your dishwasher to be able to salvage that glassware. It is scratched. So at that point, all you can do is just keep using it or go purchase some new glassware, but it is not hard water. Now, if it's hard water, what you'll need to do again is clean them really good with vinegar, clean your machine with the Lemmy Shine, and then use uh, a better soap, such as your Cascade Platinum, and then it will keep your glassware looking really good. And one other thing that's really important that a lot of people look over, and I know we've covered this and, and it's been covered a bunch of ways, but it is really imperative with the newer dishwashers that you use rinse agent. Because uh, for this dishwasher, for example, and most dishwashers are this way, if you look at the bottom of this, there is no heating element down here for drying. Some use fans, some use other things, but this is an evaporative drying system. When it goes into dry, it pulls the water droplets away from your glassware and your dishes and pulls it to the warmer surface, which is gonna be your tank when it's done washing. Now you're saying, well, what does rinse agent have to do that? Well, rinse agent, it, when it was sold, it was basically to, to remove spots because it does, because what it is, is a, it's a surfactant. It takes that water bead and flattens it out. It makes it really thin. So if you took an eyedropper and you took two drops of water and you left one as a drop and you took the other one and smeared it out with your finger, well, the one that you smear out with your finger is going to evaporate much faster than the drop that you left sitting right next to it. Well, the same thing with this. So what it does, it takes your water bead, flattens it out, makes it really thin, so the evaporation process is much easier and the glasses come out dry. The only problem is, is with plastics, because plastic has cohesion, it likes to hold on to that water bead and does not want to let go of it. So stuff that's plastic or something that has an indent in it where the water is trapped in there, where it can't smear it out, now those things are gonna have 
very difficult time to get dry in anybody's dishwasher. But without the use of rinse agent, your dishwashers don't dry very well at all. It's very important to use it. Most dishwashers have an indicator on them saying they're empty. All you have to do is fill it up. Usually these will last anywhere between 30 and 40 wash loads and you'll need to refill it. But that's very important as far as your drying of your dishes inside your dishwasher. All right, now we're gonna talk about the wash cycles on a dishwasher. Most of your newer dishwashers, especially your higher end ones, they have an auto wash button. Now the auto wash button is a fantastic cycle for your dishwasher. What the auto wash is most of them have a particulate sensor down inside the dishwasher that measures the particles going through this sensor and it determines how long or how much it needs to wash your dishes. So if it sees a lot of particles in it, it will extend your wash cycle or run it, run it for a longer period of time. If it doesn't see as much, it's going to shorten your wash cycles quite a bit. So it is a fantastic cycle, but there is an issue with this cycle and it's not really an issue with manufacturers but you have to look at it this way is if you're taking your dishes and you are cleaning your dishes almost everything you're cleaning them all off and they're nice and clean before you put them in your dishwasher which is usually something we don't recommend usually what we recommend and most manufacturers recommend is knocking the big stuff off rinse off your tomato based sauces egg yolks and milk and put it in the dishwasher and the runny stuff again put it inside the dishwasher let the dishwasher do it if you want to wash them perfectly clean that's great you put them all in but let's say everything in the dishwasher is nice and clean and you're having breakfast or dinner and you're saying oh i'm washing right away i'm going to throw these dishes in dirty well that can throw the particulate sensor off especially if it's baked on stuff because by the time it's washing and the dishwasher is looking at how many particles are in the water it's going to say there's not much there because it hasn't had time to uh, pull that food off of the other dishes yet so it starts shortening the wash cycle so when you get done you're going to say well everything is nice and clean except for these few items you may have put in after or you may have some food running around inside the dishwasher generally that is the case is because it's using the auto cycle and it is looking at it as it's clean. Generally with this, with the auto cycle, it's generally a good idea to put them all in dirty or all in clean if you wanna use that cycle or mostly clean that way that it's gonna work properly. If you're gonna have kind of a mixed load or just maybe it's a mixed load every now and then, I'd probably recommend using the normal cycle or whatever cycle that you're comfortable with using with that cycle and use that cycle instead. And that way your dishes will come out nice and clean every time you won't have some random result from the auto sensor determining that they're clean or dirty. Well, thank you for your time watching this video today. I hope this video was informative and helpful and some dishwasher tips that you can look for and to help keep your dishwasher running well and, and repair some of your uh, own personal washability issues. If you have any comments, leave it in the comments below. Uh, share and like these videos or, or check out some of our other videos that we'll be producing along the way so we can help you out with other appliances.